So it's the end of day seven. Um, I didn't really get much done again today because I just fucking put everything off. I did the accumulator mod like I said I would. Got the valve body put back in. Took me forever because I didn't make note of what screws went where. Uh, it was like playing fucking hide and go seek. Like, oh, this screw fits in here. Okay, well that screw didn't fit in there, so I'm gonna have to switch these around. Like, pretty much that. They're all um, the same size screw, but they were all the different lengths. Uh, don't have the pan back on yet because FCP Grodin sent me those filters and um, gaskets, which are apparently for a non-overdrive version of this transmission which never even came on this car. I had my filter on the website set for 1994 Volvo 940 Turbo, which only came with the AW71, and the non-turbo even only came with the AW71L, which is the exact same thing, just with a lock-up torque converter. So I don't know how I got those gaskets. I ordered the right ones. Well, I just reordered the right ones. Hopefully they'll be here Thursday. Today is technically Wednesday because it's past midnight, but it's still Tuesday because I said so. Um, yeah, they're just in Connecticut. I'm in New Hampshire, so it's like two days to ship them here with their slowest shipping. So I sent them an email asking about it. Hopefully I'll get my 18 bucks back that I paid for those because I really don't have much money left after this whole fucking swap and nightmare runs to get shit late at night at Home Depot so I can take things apart. Uh, I didn't do anything in the engine bay because I'm a lazy fuck. I pretty much finished the dash, as you can see. I'm going to try and leave it a little bit more intact. I'm going to try and feed the wires through instead of ripping it out because when I ripped it out in the wagon, I broke the little air vent things up here and I broke some of the air vents and I just really don't want to break anything on this dash if I don't have to. Um, if I can just feed the wires through there, then that's fucking great. If not, then I'm going to have to take my time and figure out how to take those out without breaking them. I would go further, but it's 45 degrees out right now. Uh, towards the middle to end of May. I'm not sure why it's 45 degrees out. I can see my breath. I'm not really liking it. Um, yeah, everything's undone except for these four T25 Torx uh, screws that I can't get out because I can't find my T24, uh, 25 bit. Uh, I have 10, 15, 20 in screwdrivers. I have a 30 that I use to take off the airbag that I just have into a quarter inch fitting on this uh, socket. And I had a 25 socket, or a 25 um, like screwdriver attachment like that one, and I can't find it for the life of me, so. It's probably going to be another trip down to Home Depot to buy one of those. Um, been there like twice today. Had to buy cutting discs so I could cut those bolts for the thing. And then I had to buy a drill bit because I broke off a screw inside of the transmission. Uh, one of the ones that holds the oil pan on in the corner uh, right here. So I'm going to have to drill and then back that out with a uh, <coughs> screw extractor. Um, I just need to find a drill bit that's long enough to fit into it from the top because I tried going at it with a wood screw, not realizing that it was a wood screw, slipped off the screw and then fucked it up. So I'm kind of fucked if I can't get it from the top. Um, or I'll just like completely drill the whole thing out and just put a nut and bolt through it and call it good. Uh, probably leak from that corner if I don't do something like that. But end of day seven, I know in the last video I said day eight, but it's actually day seven, so don't listen to me. Um, so yeah, I will see you again tomorrow. Hopefully I can get the engine lifted in. Probably won't because I don't have that oil pan on there, so just kidding. Hopefully I'll get all the wiring done. Then if I'm bored, I'll lift the engine in, but I'll probably just leave it out. Maybe, I don't know, stir at that turbo a little bit more because I can't wait until it spools. Oh well, see you guys later.